everyone. I'm Zoe. I am so excited to share this amazing experience with you. That is how I turned this chicken wire into a bird cage pendant. I am so happy because the fact that I'm showing you this video means that I finally made it. Oh, that's very sweet. Thank you. Thank you. Let's start from the very beginning. First, have the chicken wire ready. This is the kind of chicken wire I used for this project. I will put the link down below. No project will be successful without a good floor plan. So here's my idea. The final product mainly consists of two parts, the bigger upper part A and the smaller lower part B. The diameter of part A is 24 inch and it's 12 inch in height. The diameter of part B is 14 inch and 24 inch in height. So that gives us the idea of how much chicken wire I need, which is for part A, a rectangle of 76 inch in length and 12 inch in width. And for part B, a rectangle of 44 inch in length and 24 inch in width. To cut the chicken wire is very easy. All you need is a plier. I'll use a small rectangle chicken wire as an example. Bend the wire on one end to 90 degree upright. When two ends meet here, lock them like this so it becomes a ring. Please let me remind you that the wire can be sharp, so you can wear a goggle and gloves to protect yourself. This just shows how it works. When you are dealing with bigger size chicken wire, of course, it takes much longer time to finish, but in the end, it's worth it. Finally, when I finish both parts, I put two half inch towel through them temporarily like this so they move as one piece when i work with it you must have noticed earlier that in a picture the bird cage pendant looks floating in the air what does the magic is this Hand up the pendant for the first time to see if the hook works and at the same time make a decision on how high you want the pendant to go. Measure the distance from the top of the roof to the pendant and transfer this distance and retie the knot so the pendant will be at the height where you desire next time when you hand it. At this point, the cord is only tied to part A. Now, repeat the same thing to part B. Hand up the pendant the second time and make sure nothing needs to be changed before the final touch.
So that's it. Are you ready to reveal? Let's count down on three, two, one. How do you like it? Actually, before this project, I made a floor lampshade with chicken wire as well. Now they match really well in my living room, and I love it so much. I am so happy how this turns out, and thank you so much for watching. Here is the list of materials and tools I have used in this video, just for your information. If you like this, please give me a thumbs up and maybe subscribe for more project in the future. Thank you so much again, and see you next time.